Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening wherever in the world you're tuning in from. My name is Master Paul, and I'm honored to be with you here today. Today is Thursday. I want to say it's December 5 or January 5, but not 100% on that. But I'm happy to be here with you. And so on today's live stream, we're going to be focusing on healing ourselves through service to others. Today is the 18th day of a 21-day challenge that I had uh, not intended to do, but roughly 18 days ago, I decided to focus on, and I always follow soul guidance, and the soul guidance was to teach others to be able to bring healing to themselves through service to others. And a lot of the wisdom and teachings, in fact, all of the wisdom and teachings that I share, come through Dr. and Master Shah, and he teaches foundational wisdoms of heal the soul first and the mind and body will follow. But throughout all of his teachings, he shares about the oneness. Everything that he speaks of is oneness. Every mantra that he gives us has a oneness origin. Shen, Qi Jing, He Yi. Soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter become one. Uh, S plus E plus M equals one. That's a mantra. Uh, soul plus energy plus matter equals one. Uh, ren di tian dao he yi that is human earth heaven dao become one his ibiza calligraphy is oneness calligraphy oneness permeates every aspect of dr and master shah's wisdom and teachings and he tries to get us to see that as souls that we are souls first and as a soul we have the greatest opportunity to uplift our soul standing in this lifetime when we apply oneness thinking to all of our thoughts, words, and actions. And that was the base of the reason why uh, 18 days ago I wanted to do just a day, maybe two, of bringing in healing others through, uh, serving ourselves through healing others. And it just flowed out that we should do this as a 21 day practice. And I've heard some very, very positive results from many, many of you about the benefits that you are receiving. And sometimes it does take these 21 days for these kinds of benefits to occur. Um, in this last couple of days, we focused on specific services towards others. We offered blessings to Mother Earth. The next day we offered blessings to Heaven. Uh, the next day we offered blessings to the water of Mother Earth. And then uh, yesterday we offered blessings to the children of humanity. And in each day we did forgiveness practice with each of these souls. And we have the greatest opportunity to transform our own personal blockages with them. But at the same time, we can offer service. And in this offering of service to all of these souls, we are, of course, assisting all souls collectively because we are one. When we chant to serve others, billions of souls come to join us and they are chanting for oneness. So we are collectively moving the ball, so to speak, forward. We are bringing more light to the planet as a whole. So today being the 18th day, uh, tomorrow the 19th day, and Saturday and Sunday, 20 and 21, those last two days, you're going to have to be self-responsible. You're going to have to do your 15 minutes of love, peace, harmony chanting twice and your forgiveness practice twice. And now that's the best and ideal scenario. I fall off the boat more than I can count when it comes to being consistent with my practices. But we all continue to try. And so I encourage you for Saturday and Sunday to continue to do the practice even though we won't be here on live stream. And then um, <clears throat> maybe on Monday uh, for those that were uh, doing this uh, with, with all their heart, then we can report on some of those changes. So let's acknowledge all those that are coming aboard at this time. So welcome Kristen Strachan, welcome uh, CJ, welcome Lindsay Lay, welcome Dana and Johannes, welcome Ginny Brown, welcome Chris Lewis, welcome Teresa, welcome Linda Jansen, welcome Pat, C. John, good to see you, welcome uh, Tammy Hunter and Kristen Rojas, welcome Stephanie, welcome Amy and Cynthia Marie, good to see you, got a little time off from the kids, great to see you here. Welcome Nicole, welcome Karen uh, Lockwood and Zilke coming in from Germany. <coughs> and welcome Cheryl, uh, Davorka and your daughter, welcome. Welcome Samantha, 
Olivia has joined us. Welcome, Olivia. Welcome, Ande Mari. So thank you all for joining. Uh, if you haven't already, please hit the share button and let other people know about this. Uh, to answer one of the questions, no, I didn't get a haircut. I just walked into the bathroom and wet my hair down a little bit. And good for me. <laughs> so today will be a very powerful day. When I tried to tune in as to what to focus on today, I didn't receive any direct answers. I picked up the Tao One book, which is one of Master Shah's uh, premier books on the nature of Tao, not Taoism. That's a religion. The nature of Tao is literally the way of all life. And so it's an exceptional book. And it talks about many of the things about the nature of Tao. And when I opened it, it actually opened to uh, requesting blessings from Kuan Yin, which is this beautiful Buddha behind me. And so we will connect with Kuan Yin today and uh, work with her for blessings today. Okay, so let us first connect heart to heart and soul to soul. We'll place our hands in soul light, soul service hand position, dropping our left hand in front of our heart center, keeping our right hands pointed gently towards heaven. And let's invite in all of the holy beings. Dear beloved divine, dear the Tao, dear the source, original creator, all beings of light serving the plan of the light side, including the light side stars, planets, galaxies, and universes. To the soul of all angels, healing angels, and archangels, masters, ascended masters, to the soul of all Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, beloved Jesus, beloved Mother Mary, all Lamas, Sifus, Gurus, Saints, Kahunas, beloved uh, Krishna, beloved Ganesha, all other beings of light, serving the plan of the light side, mentioned and unmentioned. We love you all, deeply appreciate you, honor you, respect you. We ask for your presence at this time. Dear below the soul of our beloved Mother Earth, love you and appreciate you. Please join us at this time. To the soul of our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, from this lifetime, from all time, we love you all. Deeply appreciate your unconditional service to our individual soul journeys. And we ask that you be present at this time. Dear the soul of the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony, Transmitted to all souls in all universes. Love you, love you, love you, honor you, and appreciate you. And we invite you to please join us at this time. We ask all souls in all universes to turn on this source soul song of love, peace, and harmony, and to join us in this chanting as we connect heart to heart, soul to soul. So we're going to chant for a few minutes. <clears throat> for those that might be new, you will see a posting in a little while of the words for love, peace, and harmony. And also a PDF, because it's currently sung in about 50 languages, and the PDF shows about 28 of those, in case you're interested in learning more about the different languages that this worldwide song is sung in. And if you're not familiar with it, just close your eyes and receive. So let us chant together. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. O ai, wo shen er ling. O ai, tran ran lei. O ling rong, er mu shir shong. Shong I ping on her Shong I ping on her I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace and harmony love peace and harmony lula lula li lula lula la li lula lula li lula lula li Lula, Lula, Oh, I wo 
ocean hurling. Oh, I trod Raleigh, only hearing wrong her musher song, song I ping on a sing, song I ping on a sing. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join our hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Part of me just wanted to keep on going, move right into Hawaiian and all the other languages. But we have a little more connection to do. So first I want to acknowledge some others who have joined us here today. <clears throat> so again, welcome Ande, welcome Dvorka, uh, welcome TC, welcome Monica, welcome Barka, Barka, and Alan Stevens, welcome Ben, good to see you here, Ben. And uh, Kristen has posted, thank you, Kristen, the different, the words for this soul song, the PDF link, and the MP3 download. This uh, soul song is quite healing. Highly recommend you play it 24 hours a day. And Henji says, it's bra day. Hmm. Does that mean like Hawaiian, yo, bra, what's going on, bra? Or a different kind of, don't know. Anyway humorous <clears throat> so let us continue now when I checked uh, on the Tao book for those of you who aren't familiar this is called Tao one and this book is extraordinary uh, it has an original chant called the Tao Jing D-A-O Jing J-I-N-G just a beautiful beautiful mantra uh, which is the steps to reach enlightenment and the Tao two book goes into even further steps on the enlightenment path and the way we clear our blockages. There are <coughs> Shen, Qi, and Jing blockages. Shen is a Mandarin Chinese word that stands for many things, but in this case it stands for soul. Soul is soul, heart, and mind. And in that order, the soul leads the heart, the heart leads the mind. The mind then directs the energy, which then directs the matter. And so when we look at the way uh, modern medicine approaches imbalances, whether it's an emotional imbalance or a physical imbalance or whatever it is, even mental imbalances, <clears throat> modern Western medicine focuses it on the matter level. Remember, Shen Qi Jing. Shen is soul, heart, mind. Uh, qi is energy. Jing is matter. Shen Qi Jing. Soul, heart, mind, energy, matter. And so matter uh, is how the Western medical approach is they will adjust the biochemical structures for example with mental disorders they'll give you a uh, uh, biochemical uh, medicine and it creates some sort of balance um, but it doesn't do anything for the energy when you look at uh, energy you look at the eastern model of bringing healing to us uh, acupuncture acupressure um, all forms of herbs adjusting the dampness the coolness they use directions they use many different uh, areas including the pulse of the human body to adjust the energy and when we look at the human body we have uh, we're made up of energy and matter and of course soul but if this was two cells side by side in between the cells is space in between the matter that's inside the cells there's lots of space in, in between all the matter that's inside the cells. So even the highest uh, powered microscopes, they see 99% space, 1% matter. So the space is very often where our illnesses and imbalances are. But when uh, medical science comes in there and they cut out a gallbladder, cut out a cancer, um, offer a biochemical uh, uh, solution, to a physical problem, what they're not acknowledging is the source of that physical problem, um, which according to the wisdom that I work with is karma. And so we look at how uh, karma impacts the soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. So we know that, that modern medicine works quite well in certain areas and it just can't do anything in other areas. 
part of the problem is that they're not addressing the energy aspects. So Eastern medicine addresses the energy aspects to bring about balance between the relativity of energy and matter. When there is no blockages between the matter and energy is allowed to flow freely between the cells, freely between the spaces, then where energy flows, blood follows. We have movement of qi. That's why it's called shen qi jing. And so as Shen Qi and Jing moves, then there is more healing. So what inhibits the uh, Shen Qi and Jing from perfect health? Karma. Karma is mind blockages, heart blockages, and karmic blockages. That's why Shen is considered soul, heart, mind. So soul blockages are karmic blockages. That means blockages that we have generated by harming others through thoughts, words, and actions. And they, they stay with our soul and they come back to bring us reminders in life in the form of relationship blockages, emotional blockages, mind blockages, physical pain, and so forth. These are karmic blockages. Heart blockages are blockages of the heart, meaning greediness, selfishness, blockages where we are not working in oneness. All of us in humanity have variations of levels of these blockages. They keep our heart from being open. They keep the flow of the soul and the soul world and all that it has to offer us from fully being received, creating the healing that we need. Uh, mind blockages, negative mindsets, negative attitudes and beliefs. Negative beliefs are things like, um, oh, that'll never work. Okay. Negative mindsets are things like, um, I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna succeed. Okay. So there's different negative thoughts, mindsets, beliefs. There's ego. Ego is pride. Ego is separativeness versus oneness. And then there is, of course, attachment. You know, I have to have my, uh, my, my, my coffee every morning, whatever our attachments are. All of these inhibit us at the level of soul, heart, mind, and body. And so when we do these practices, when we chant love, peace, and harmony, when we do a forgiveness practice, when we do practices to open our heart, when we chant to serve others, like we have been doing these last 18 days, what in fact are we doing? We're addressing the soul, heart, mind, energy, matter blockages that show up in the form of all kinds of problems in our life, we're addressing them directly at the level of origination, at the level of the karmic source. We're addressing them with virtue because these karmic blockages are negative karma. They are um, darkness, if you will. And so we must address it with light. And what is light but virtue? So when we chant to serve others, we are bringing virtue into our energy field. Virtue is good karma, positive karma. And so if you viewed your record in heaven as a, a bank where you had negative karma and good karma, everybody has a record in heaven and we all have various levels of unpleasant karma and good karma, unpleasant debt and good uh, virtue. But when we uh, do practices like forgiveness practice, uh, chanting to serve others and so forth, then what we're doing is in essence, we're filling up our virtue bank a bit more. That helps offset our spiritual debt. That means our relationship blockages become less. It means our financial blockages become less, whatever it may be. Now, if you're one of those, which there's probably about 20% of us, that you could do this practice every day for 21 days and see almost no result or nominal result. That's an indicator that the karma for that particular condition is very heavy. And so that means that you need to take a look at divine services, which clear the blockages dramatically faster. And divine services are offered by divine channels like myself, Master Shah. He has another hundred uh, divine channels on the planet. And we can all offer divine services, which dramatically clear the Shen, Qi, and Jing karmic blockages uh, hundreds and hundreds and thousands of times faster. Um, so when you get to those levels, that's when you want to look at that as a potential solution. But in the meantime, when you keep consistency with these practices, it absolutely unequivocally will make a difference in the sufferings in your life. And more importantly, it changes your perspective. It starts moving you from um, um, a place where we're just in our own little world, suffering in our own little stuff. And we start going outside of our world and we start making others just a little more important at least for that 10 or 15 minutes or however much time we can stop you know in our own uh, stuff and it's similar to a walking meditation like 
one of the reasons meditation is is so appreciated and so desired and also very difficult for many of us is because it requires stopping everything and being fully at zero when we're fully uh, detached fully at zero fully in the hundun in the space where nothing is coming in and we're just there that's when we're fully connected to the heavenly realms that's when we're blasted with the light that's when we can receive libraries full of wisdom in one second it doesn't have to be a long two-hour meditation if you can get into that hundun space for one second two minutes whatever you could get a library of, of wisdom information and healing and it's similar when we detach from our own stuff when we chant to serve others like this love peace and harmony song we're going to chant this for 15 minutes as part of our 21 day practice but in going fully into the chant fully into the service to others it is very, very similar to being in this unconditional space of a, of a very pure meditation. You're receiving unconditional uh, benefit because you're offering unconditional service. And Master Shah offers a very, very pure message about unconditional service. And he says, I, this is Master Shah's words, I am an unconditional servant. You are an unconditional servant. Together, we serve the world unconditionally. So there's so much more to that statement that I won't go into to now, but it goes to show you the value of this practice. So I hope this a brief education assists all of you with a deeper understanding of why this has such a significance to our health and well-being, how it can truly make a difference if all we do every day is this practice. Because it truly can. Okay, so for those that are new, choose an area uh, of your life that you're having significant blockages with, and even though this might be your first day, your third or fifth day, whatever it might be, I encourage you to do it for 21 days. I also want to do a plug for our local center. Tonight is an introductory evening at Master Shah's Tao Healing Center. Uh, and um, you'll be able to register for it. I believe Kristen will drop in a link in just a few minutes here. And this, uh, this evening, it's a self-healing evening, so you receive lots of blessings. But there will also be an introduction to the start next week on the, on the 12th of the 21 day challenge that's uh, to be younger happier healthier and it'll apply similar wisdoms that, that we have applied these last 18 days but on a much more grand scale there will be a thousand dollar prize um, it's a very very small honor fee to be a part of this program and you get huge benefits when you do it in a group there will be well over a hundred people doing this all at once I recommend you become a little bit more informed on that and Kristen has posted a Facebook post there um, to join that um, Kristen, if you could find it from Dr. Shaw's events page, that would be more direct. Thank you so much. <clears throat> and so Yvonne's come in. Welcome, Yvonne. Welcome, Crystal. So now what we're going to do is we're going to choose this area that we want to transform. And we're going to ask it to do service. We're going to ask Kuan Yin to join us. I will invite her and her soul in. We're going to chant a Kuan Yin mantra uh, as well as the Love, Peace, Harmony mantra to help bring blessings. The message I heard uh, that comes with Kuan Yin is compassion. Kuan Yin is known as the Buddha of compassion. And I know I definitely need more compassion. My guess is that most of us do. And certainly humanity needs a lot more compassion. There's a great deal of heartlessness out there from uh, many of the souls that have ventured towards the darkness a bit too much, did we say. So we let have deal with them but we want to offer compassion and we want to invite all souls to chant to awaken humanity's souls to compassion. So that will be our service today. And, and I will walk you through the forgiveness practice. <coughs> I'll clear the blockages in my phone a second here. So I will walk you through the forgiveness practice. Um, and I'll walk you through the compassion practice, and then we'll chant. Uh, I'm, I'm hearing Wong Mani Ba Ma Hong. Wong Mani Ba Ma Hong is an enlightenment mantra associated with uh, Kuan Yin Buddha. And so we'll chant that to awaken the other souls for compassion. Okay? So let us place our hands in soul light, soul service hand position. With the left hand in front of our heart center and the right hand gently pointed upwards. That's probably opposite to those watching the video, but left hand in front of your heart center. <clears throat> and close your eyes. Let us connect fully. 
let us offer our deepest and highest forgiveness, deepest and highest love. So, if you feel comfortable, please repeat after me. Dear all layers of the Divine, the Tao, the Source, dear original Creator, I love you, honor you, appreciate you. Could you please come to sit in my heart center? Please bless me to release my blockages to compassion. Please bless all the souls as appropriate as we chant Kuan Yin's mantra and the song of love, peace, and harmony. Thank you. Now we will do a forgiveness. Uh, first we'll invite in Kuan Yin. Dear the soul of Kuan Yin, known also in this new soul light era as Ling Wei Sheng Shi, which is Mandarin Chinese, translates to um, intelligence, saint, soul, servant. She brings the intelligence of the soul world to this new era. We love you, we honor you, deeply appreciate and respect you. We ask at this time that you come to join us and to serve along with us for all the souls of humanity as we chant to receive and offer blessings for compassion. Thank you. Continue to repeat this forgiveness practice with me. Dear all souls in this and all lifetimes, if I or my ancestors have offered a lack of compassion, a lack of caring, a lack of understanding of your suffering, if we have walked away from you when what would have been best is compassion, if we have ignored your cries and your pleas, and all you needed was compassion, love. We sincerely, sincerely apologize. We deeply apologize for our lack of open-heartedness. We deeply apologize for our lack of awareness of our oneness. I sincerely, on behalf of myself and my ancestors, ask for your forgiveness if I have ever been this way to you your loved ones, your ancestors, and all souls. I wish to offer my unconditional forgiveness to all of the souls in this life that have not shown me compassion when I needed it most, those that have walked away from me, ignored me, and completely didn't care when I needed their compassion. I wish to offer you my unconditional forgiveness. To all souls in all time, I offer you my unconditional forgiveness for your lack of compassion. When I could have been suffering, needing food, health, shelter, or anything else that could have assisted me to move from the great suffering I was in in that moment. I offer you my unconditional forgiveness. And if I have ever communicated with you in such a way where you were not honored with the deepest of compassion, please forgive me. Let us chant together with beloved Kuan Yin Buddha and all beings of light. Let us assist humanity to awaken to their oneness and being more compassionate. And I invite now at this time all souls of humanity to join with us to awaken to compassion. We ask all the holy beings that are present to, as appropriate, assist in this request. So as we chant for all souls in humanity to awaken their compassion, visualize these souls waking up, serving other souls, souls that are in need, that they normally would walk past. See humanity waking up, helping in all the different ways that are possible. Let us chant Wang Ma Ni Ba Ma Hong. Wang Ma Ni Ba Ma Hong. Uh, Kristen posted it in the chat box, but you will get used to it very quickly as we chant it. Okay? This is a mantra 
for enlightenment. So keep your heart open, your thoughts and your, in your blessings on service of all souls with the greatest love. Do not force, allow as appropriate. Let us begin. Wong mani ba ma hong, 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 Wong mani ba ma hong. Wong mani ba ma hong, 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 Wong mani ba ma hong. Wong mani ba ma hong, 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 Wong mani ba ma hong. Si Kuan Yin, spreading her thousand hands, thousand eyes, and blessing billions of souls. Wong mani ba ma hong, 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 Wong mani ba ma hong. Wong mani ba ma hong, 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 Wong mani ba ma hong. Wong mani ba ma hong, 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 Wong mani ba ma hong. Go into the condition. Get lost in the mantra. Wong mani ba ma hong, Wong mani ba ma hong, Wong mani ba ma hong. Wong mani ba ma hong, 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 Wong mani ba ma hong. Wong mani ba ma hong, 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 Wong mani ba ma hong. Slowly, Wong mani ba ma hong. Wong mani ba ma hong, 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 Wong mani ba ma hong. Wong mani ba ma hong, 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 Wong mani ba ma hong. Chant silently. Wong mani. 
Bamahong, Ong Mani 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 Bamahong. Continue to chant silently. And I will offer a third eye reading at this time. At this time, our beloved Kuan Yin and countless saints, saints, animals, Buddhas, holy beings from all belief systems are serving in perfect congruency they have gathered in the southern palace of heaven along with Kuan Yin there are dragons circling the earth there are heavens animals circling the earth they are clearing blockages in humanity for compassion there are many blockages in the message center. There are mindsets and beliefs around the whys and the when to offer compassion. These seem like little roses with thorns on them. The roses bloom under certain conditions and the thorns inhibit the souls from offering compassion unconditionally the saints saint animals the buddhas and all of those from the heavenly realms are offering their mantra and the frequencies are causing the rounding off of the square edges of these mindsets and beliefs there is heart opening for virtually all of those souls that know that they are of the light there is also awakening occurring for many that are exhausted of remaining in the darkness there is blessings occurring at this time in the form of forgiveness for all of the times when a lack of compassion has caused suffering to those not of the human race especially for those of the animal kingdom there is a great deal of compassion that the animal kingdom offers to the human being but not necessarily always in reverse and there is a need for a balance in this area of love gratitude and compassion at this time heaven's animals are clearing the blockages between the animal and human kingdom there is a great deal of activity occurring with this very important service please continue wong mani ba ma hong 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 Om Mani Bama Hong, 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 Om Mani Bama Hong. Wong mani ba ma hong, 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 Wong mani ba ma hong. Wong mani ba ma hong, Wong mani ba ma hong, Wong mani ba ma hong, Wong mani ba ma hong. And we ask all of the souls 
of our body to continue to chant Mon Mani Ba Ma Hong. And we ask all of the souls of our body to also chant love, peace, and harmony. We especially ask the souls of our condition. State your condition. Could be a condition of depression, pain, whatever it is. And ask it to serve by chanting for others to awaken their compassion. And let us chant love, peace, and harmony with our greatest love and compassion. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Wo ai wo xin er ling. Wo ai tren ren lei. Wang ling rong er mu shi sheng. Xiong ai ping an er xie. Xiong ai ping an er xie. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Wo ai wo xin er ling. Wo ai tren ren lei. Wang li hing rong er mu shi sheng. Xiong ai ping an he xie. Xiong ai ping an he xie. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. La 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 li. La 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 li. La 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 li la la. Lula ha li lula, lula ha li lula. Wo ai wo xin er ling, wo ai tren ren li, wang li hing rong er mu shi sheng, xuang ai ping an er xie. Xiong ai ping an he xie. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li. Wo ai wo xin er ling, wo ai tren ren lei, wang li hing rong 
儿母是生，双爱平安和谐，双爱平安和谐。I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. One last round. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. <coughs> lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. 我爱我心和灵，我爱春然丽，望灵荣和母师兄，双爱平安和谐，双爱平安和谐。I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, how, how? Thank you. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> we thank the divine, we thank the Tao and the source. We thank the source, soul song of love, peace and harmony for this service. Beloved Kuan Yin for this incredible service. Did any of you receive any third eye images? Did any of you have any uh, experiences? What was your sensations in your body? Did your heart open up? Did you have impressions about what was happening as you were offering your unconditional service to humanity to open their heart and become more compassionate? Please share. I'd like to know what your experiences were. So Kuan Yin is just one of many, many uh, blessed beings that is dedicated to serve humanity. Uh, I know equally about as much uh, of, of Jesus and his teachings as Buddha and their teachings, which is not that much. Uh, but yesterday, one of the teachers was talking about um, one of uh, Buddha's vows, and he made many vows, and she only read off the first two. And one of them was, if there are any souls that are trying to come to the higher realm, and if they cannot make it, then I will not reach the highest enlightenment. That's unconditional service. The next vow was, if any of the souls do make it to these higher layers and they fall back down, then I refuse to go to the highest layer of enlightenment. I will come down to save those souls. That was the second vow. So it goes to show you the heart of an unconditional servant. So many people get caught up in all the different belief systems that are out there. This one's right, that one's right, this is the only way, that's the only way. If anybody ever tells you it's the only way, that's the first, first clue, the first red flag, that it might not be the highest and best path because the, 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 God didn't create only one way. There are 48,000 ways, as has been said, to find your way back to the heart of the divine. And so there is no one way. There is just the way that most resonates with you and your heart. Too many of us do not follow our hearts. Too many of us do not follow our own soul's guidance. We don't trust our own soul's guidance. And a big part of that is because we don't do practices to keep our heart open. 
When our heart is not open, it shows up in many forms. It shows up in the forms of anxieties. It shows up in the forms of, of course, depressions. And sometimes even fear, even though fear is not directly related to the heart center, it does show up in these forms. It shows up in the form of a lack of self-love when we say unpleasant things to and about ourself. It shows up in the inability to express ourself fully to what we would like to say. It shows up in a lack of forgiveness. All of these are related to uh, our hearts being less than fully open. And that often occurs because uh, through the course of our lifetime, our hearts have been forcibly closed by activities that we didn't necessarily have choices over. Uh, for example, we could have had parents that um, uh, were not uh, the most loving. Uh, that means that you guys have karma together and, and that means you need to do a lot of forgiveness practice around that because if they were that way towards you, there's a reasonable possibility in a previous time you had been that way towards them, maybe in reversed roles. But that's neither here nor there. The point is when events happen in our life that as children we come out of the womb with a wide open heart and uh, we come from the soul world, from the heaven world where we have a, a very open heart and we come into this physical experience and then things happen to in or around us that cause us to close our hearts. So it's very important to first acknowledge that truth. Second, to do forgiveness to all the souls that have ever um, caused conditions in which we have closed our hearts. Because when we do not do that, we are setting ourselves up for a very painful experience in this lifetime. And one of the easiest ways to move to a point of forgiveness is a recognition that no suffering happens accidentally. In almost every case, it is, has been earned on some level. Either our ancestors or ourselves had made errors in previous time and brought harm or suffering to others in a very similar form in which way we have received a, a form of suffering. So when we offer forgiveness, we don't have to know exactly what has transpired. We just say, look, I know I'm on the receiving end, so I must have caused some harm. So I sincerely ask for forgiveness. I release you of the suffering that I have been claiming to be the victim of in this life and I'm doing this so I can open my heart again and be more pure uh, as I move forward on my soul journey. I no longer wish to be trapped behind this steel bars rattling the cage saying it's all your fault. I'm going to open the doors, I'm going to release you fully and completely and then I'm going to move forward with an open heart. So this is uh, what, why, and how we want to open our heart more to be a selfless uh, universal servant. So let me read some of the responses. I see some very beautiful responses here. <coughs> uh, Samantha Brooks says she saw green dust being sent to earth. Green is healing. That's very wonderful. Um, Nada, uh, Katie Nada says beautiful images of rainbow light swirling above earth's atmosphere. Beautiful great sharing. And so one of the secrets of um, one of the secrets that Master Shah teaches us as we go through our classes on opening spiritual channels, which by the way there's one in the following weekend in Honolulu if you want to open your spiritual channels you can join that weekend workshop. But one of the teachings is when we have third eye images or any images we ask the soul world, can you please tell me what the message is that comes with this image? In that way, we just wait to hear. We might only hear one word. We might hear love. We might hear healing. We might hear blessing. Um, but we listen for the message. Because if we allow our mind to discern what it actually means, our mind will often tweak it uh, incorrectly. So we ask heaven, what does this image mean? Could you please share with me the message that comes with it? This is a deeper teaching on opening your spiritual channels. Um, so, Johannes says he had pressure on the top of his head with soul, uh, souls healing each other in compassion. Violet light and white light. Beautiful images. Thank you for sharing, Johannes. And then Angie Taylor says, thank you for being here to help me open my heart and help me let go of all that I need to move forward in my enlightenment so I am able to help more open hearts. Uh, open theirs in their turn to the world. You're very welcome, Angie. I know that you have a very open heart and you want to serve. Um, Joanne says, I really got cold. Could hear my heart beating in her ears and didn't see any souls tonight, though. Lots of images of symbols. Wonderful. That's still very, very good. 
cold energy is old energy, especially if if you weren't cold before and then all of a sudden you get really cold, typically your fingertips and your toe tips, that means the old is leaving. It's a very good sign. Also when you heat up a lot, very good sign. CJ says, wonderful, I saw Kuan Yin throwing red petals, balls of light, and at the end there's a form of a rainbow. Another person seeing a rainbow. Wow, what an amazing having that vision. Thank you so much. And so um, do ask all those who are uh, sharing their images, remember in the future, Dear Heaven, I'm so grateful for this image. Could you please give me a message along with this image? <clears throat> and don't try to um, assume what the message is. Just allow it to come. It's okay if it's, if it's nothing. It's okay if it's one word. Nothing means emptiness. So nothing could be uh, complete purity. And CJ says, so many images at the end coming. So wonderful sharing. Beautiful teaching and practice today. Thank you, beloved Kuan Yin, for this opportunity to serve in this way. Uh, tomorrow will be the 19th day, so this weekend you'll need to be doing the, the 20 and 21 days on your own. So make sure you do two forgiveness practices, two chanting of love, peace, and harmony. For those that are new coming in, the, the words, the mantra, uh, the, um, the PDF for all the different languages it's in, and the um, MP3 is listed there. And uh, for those that are interested in the opening spiritual channels, come to the Honolulu uh, event section. So go to drshaw.com, um, drsha.com. And when you click on events, just click on United States, and you'll see areas of the United States. Uh, Hawaii is the area you go to. And you'll, you should see it pop up in there. If it's not there yet, it'll be there next week. Um, and it's the following weekend in which you could do a full weekend of opening your spiritual channels very potent classes I tell you those classes um, if, if you've wanted to open your third eye that's the class to take you will have the opportunity to clear your channels and if if you've had a third eye and you want to open more that will definitely do it for you so um, and then also make sure you come tonight to the uh, Thursday kickoff for the 21 day challenge which will initiate next week this is just the kickoff hey welcome cat good to see you Teresa says, got really hot again, saw a lot of gold swirling. So we're getting a lot of swirling images and rainbow images. So beautiful, beautiful sharing. So I want to thank you all for your presence. Thank you for your sharing. And when I say that, what I mean is thank you for telling me and all those that read um, what your experiences has been uh, for these 21 days. Uh, there has been many breakthroughs for each of you. So I'm very proud of all of you for taking the initiative to follow through with this. It's very difficult to do anything for 21 days in a row. Um, so I encourage you to follow through uh, for the full time. And thank you again for sharing these videos with others that you care about. So we will return tomorrow. Uh, please do your best if you can make it. Come on in. I love you, love you, love you. Let's thank all the holy beings. Thank you, Divine Down Source. Thank you, Creator. Thank you all beings of the light side, planet, stars, galaxies, and universes, Krishna, Ganesha, Buddha, Jesus, Mother Mary, Kuan Yin, thank you all, healing angels, archangels, masters, and ascendant masters, Lama, Sifas, Gurus, thank you, the saints, animals that offered their blessings, thank you, beloved Mother Earth, thank you to our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, thank you to the mantra of love, peace, and harmony, and the mantra of Wong Mani Ba Ma Hong, thank you to all of these souls, who have forgiven us and our ancestors through the blessings that we have offered and through all the blessings that we can receive. Countless bow downs, countless bow downs, countless bow downs. We ask all the holy beings to respectfully return. Gong song, gong song, gong song. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye, everyone.